Hello, and welcome to Ponery's Penny Arcade, and I am really excited to bring this because I saw somebody else play it during the demo and instantly fell in love with it. This is the first 30 of Soldiers, and I'm going to start a new game here. Hopefully the volume isn't too loud because I've already cranked it way down, but if you love Metroidvanias and if you love games that look like Chrono Trigger, then you're going to absolutely love this. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I don't have a huge intro for you this time. And what I'll probably do is I'm going to start a new game down here, just so you can see the intro. And because I tried it on the hard setting before, I'm just going to go straight to Warrior. And if we die, we die. If we win, or if we succeed, we succeed. So let's go ahead and get started. This is basically like the Long Dark in terms of easy, medium, and hard, but you know, Long Dark has even harder settings. But, uh, yeah, you know, most of the time when I play games like this, if I show it off on the channel, I usually play the weaker settings just so I can show you more stuff. But then again, you know, games like this, I like to play them on the hardest setting possible because you get the most out of the game that way, at least in my estimation. So anyway, we're going to play with Warrior, and we're not going to change the settings. We're going to go straight into it. And I'll try to narrate this as we go along. Zarga, one of the three nations that rule the continent of Asol. Within the castle walls, the royal council debates the best strategy for the coming war. It's always a war. After a few hours of deliberating, the king and his war council are about to conclude their meeting. Is that clear? We shall follow the positioning set by General Brygard to the letter. That will be all. You may leave. Council members leave their seats and ready themselves to leave the chamber. Arxel, sorcerer and advisor to the king, leads the way to the door when suddenly... Dun dun dun! One moment, Your Majesty. Yes? Something the matter with the plan? Actually, I'd like to propose a change of strategy. Waiting in the grotto is so boring. I prefer General Brygard's initial strategy, taking part in the action alongside the others. Soldiers, stand firm. You should have more faith in Arxel's wisdom. His council has guaranteed Zarga's victory on multiple occasions. Now, be sure that they don't see you. Datalm's army will be marching down the hill at any moment. Yes, General. Notice the generals never wear headgear. <laughs> ah! An earthquake? All of a sudden, an earthquake leaves them trapped between the mountain slopes, plunging them into darkness. Before their very eyes, a glowing beam appears, bathing the dark cave in its light. Like something out of a dream, a being emerges and starts to speak. Now you can tell why I said it kind of reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Hi, baby. Oh, brave warriors who have fallen in the heat of battle. Wait, we died? Who are you? Is this your doing? I am a Valkyrie. We are the key of the fallen. We serve to perpetuate their existence beyond this world. You must accompany me. Now what? Valkyries really do exist. I thought they were just a legend. Silence! I kill you! There must be a mistake, Valkyrie. We're still alive, and we'll rejoin the rest of our army when we get out of here. Get out of here? Listen to me carefully, mortals. We are gifted with the knowledge of life and death. I can see in the palm of my hand how the lifeline that ties you to this world ended when you became trapped. 
we died. And we didn't even know it. We shall forever walk the earth as ghouls. It is not only rocks and earth that separate you from the outside. There's something else more powerful than any attempt you can make to escape. Maybe you're unaware, but we have a grand sorcerer among our ranks who could... I still see... I see you still don't understand your situation. There's no one here with the power you suggest. My mere presence excludes all possibility of doubt. You must accompany me. Your destiny lies here no longer. Dang, we died. We all died together. Is she really a Valkyrie? You could be a witch. What will happen if we don't go with you? In that case, I will leave. You will never see me again, and those who decide to stay will fade into dust with the passage of time. So we are dead. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, listen to me everyone. No one expected it to end like this, but we've run out of options. I'm going in. Riva, I won't be able to keep my promise. May the gods help Zarga. So he does have a woman. Come on, do you apes want to live forever? He's never failed us. Wait, we stand with you. Now you get to choose your class. Scouts are basically your tanks, your knights, your sword users pretty balanced attacks, usually what I always play. High stamina, good health, no magic capabilities, middle of the road attack. Archer, basically your scout, your ranged guy, the real scout, you know, technically speaking. Pretty much middle of the road everywhere, but he's got a ranged attack. And you can throw your bow, like a boomerang, it's kind of cool. And the caster, obviously, high magic use, low health, pretty strong powerful attacks, no stamina. So I suspect that this class works with a mana bar, and you have to monitor it carefully. You don't just have limitless mana. But I always, I always choose soldiers and warriors, so we're going to go with that. The old familiar, for me, at least. Yes, I'll choose this class. You can't change it once you select it. Let's go, boys. We're heading for Sparta. Press left or right to move. So you're not... You're not Brygard. You're just a soldier. You're just part of the crowd. One of the dudes. So this is where we entered. And obviously we can't go back where we came. But we're definitely somewhere we didn't start. Clearly. Because there are things floating on rocks. Which I never understood how they... How do they always pull that off? I mean, in, in Chrono Trigger they did the same thing in 11,000 BC. And my favorite character in Chrono Trigger is from 11,000 BC, Shala, which I'll probably put somewhere on the map here, just for fun. Anyway, so the first part of this game is obviously very tutorial-like. It's going to remind you of how to do things, so read the map. To the west is the Saibuna Desert, and to the east is the Spider Later Layer. And some of the terrain is destructible, as you can see. So obviously I'm using arrow keys here. I, you know, I'm just, I guess because I'm old, compared to most people who do game reviews, uh, I don't like using the D-pads. I like using the old-fashioned, you know, four arrows. But I can't go that way, clearly. I just wanted to show you a few things before we head in. No double jump, at least not yet. Keys are basic, very basic right now, so... Uh, I'm using a, a, a Razer Wolverine Ultimate, which is basically a glorified Xbox controller. And so if you hear me say certain keys or you see certain keys in the uh, on the screen, it's because I'm playing with a controller, which I would probably recommend for a Metroidvania type game like this rather than a mouse and keyboard. Because why not? I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm one of those PC Master Race type people, but I mean, I grew up on a console like everybody else, so this is an alien feeling to me. Anyway, see I can't kill the birds. So right now, A to jump, X to attack. It's going to show me this as I start moving in. Y is like a heavy attack. Hab-baba. 
Welcome, brave warrior. I am Leandris, matriarch of the Valkyries. Mm-hmm. Forget everything you thought you knew. Your battles, your friends. You're now in a very different place from whence you came. This world is ruled by a worldly god, a guardian, who awaits your rival and that of your allies. Your mission will be to find him, but it will not be easy. If you succeed, you will pass into the next plane, where you will be named a champion in the great battle of the gods, Ragnarok, and be granted unimaginable powers. Hmm? Tell me, soldier, are you, ready, are you ready to embrace glory beyond your life in this world? Find the Guardian, and with him, your place. You meet a hot pink-haired chick, and then she tricks you off a ledge. Go figure. It's okay. No harm. No foul. We're all right. But he's still looking up going, man, she was hot. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get moving. These little green orbs right now that I'm unlocking, these are health. You get one per. Uh, one other thing I like about this game so far is if you press the up arrow to look up, you can move the terrain or the map right now since I can't I'm on the bottom floor you can't look down but eventually you can and we're gonna talk to some of our fellow soldiers this doesn't seem so different from the fields back home does it now I used to think that there was more dialogue than this but that's really all there is see the boxes just get bigger we have no way of reaching General Brygard we've started to have a look at the perimeter, but as much as I'd rather have been in his regiment, at, or sorry, I probably read that wrong, but I'd much rather have been in his regiment, that's for certain. Sure. So when you jump near a ledge like this, if you time it right, he'll hang on, and then you can press down to get off of it, or you can just jump to clear it. Hmm. I can do it. It's not that high. So basically, they're just explaining what I just did. Better plan your jumps if you don't want to fall down here like me. Taking a leap right at the last second might just do it. Let's try it. Yep. Oh, wait, maybe I can... Yeah. There we go. Obviously, this is just teaching us how to attack. They just wanted me to do the basic attack there. But I've already done a few things in my other just trying to feel out the game earlier on that other save. So, like, now I can use a heavy attack. Heavy attack. Or you can do a heavy and a light to do a combo, which they don't talk about here, but you get the idea. You can also roll, and in my case it's the B button, so it'll roll. And one thing I've noticed, which makes the game a little easy, is you can roll through an enemy, and even if you cross his path or whatnot, uh, you don't take any splash damage during the roll. So, like, he could be swinging, and you can roll right through him, and everything's just fine. I didn't turn the music off here. It's actually quiet. And then here, like most games, down and jump is to hop down. This guy's going to tell me... Drop from these platforms doesn't seem too steep. Shouldn't be too hard to climb up and down them. Well, yeah, or you can just walk off like that. Alright, so the left button for me is going to be my shield. I'm not very good at using the buttons on the top of these controllers. Like I said, I'm just old. That thing shoots fast, so... Oh no! Don't, con don't neglect your stamina bar. If it empties, it'll be a while before you can defend yourself again. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that bar just below my health. So I just have to sit here and wait. It'll grow back eventually. Climbing down, jumping, blocking. What's all this then? Some sort of testing ground? Yeah. Open. You've got a health potion. Alright, so I don't really need it right now, so I'm not going to waste it. But I would just press my, my left analog stick up, and it would let me use it. This is to show how to do the dodge roll. Apparently I can't get up there yet. So, they want me to do this. That's all it really is. Hababa. <laughs> What's with all these women everywhere? <laughs> Sinka. 
Huh? You seem a bit clueless. Come on, you heard that, Valkyrie. We've got work to do. Snap out of it. I'm just checking you out. <laughs> Though, if you're on this road, that means you've been assigned to the group tasked with exploring the cave. The rest are way ahead. As you can see, this is no joke. So wake up and open your eyes, because this place is full of disgusting creatures like that one. Anyway, I'm off. I've wasted too much time on you already. Do yourself a favor and try not to lag behind. Damn, girl. Didn't even get the time of day. I like to explore around the map to see if there's any secrets. So if you ever see me just walk into an edge, it's because that's how I grew up playing games. And our first fight. That was supposed to happen, by the way. You can't dodge that. Alright, so this guy's pretty easy. You just have to remember the things the game taught you. So you just roll and attack. See? Combo a few times. I'll let him come closer. So I can even do the roll while he's charging like that, which is fine. Ooh, ooh that was close. Can you just belly flop me? I really like the art style in this game. Like that guy sort of reminds me of like a like a Monkey Island pirate almost. Come on. There we go. Man down. Give my money. So he drops a lot of health because it probably anticipated you taking a lot of hits because I guess they assume that people don't know how to apply what they've learned in terms of dodge rolls and defense. I don't know. Your load times may vary. Uh, I play on a 9th generation Intel i7-9900KF, and ever since the day I bought it, I think it's been defective, because mine runs really hot no matter what I do. So if you hear a whooshing sound every now and again, it's my uh, thermal monitor t cranking up the fans. But the best I can get out of this thing without completely melting itself down is 4.3 gigahertz which is really annoying because I, I put a lot into this machine and I'm already thinking about just swapping out to a 12th gen. <sighs> I just, like, they've just saved us from being buried alive in one cave and we've ended up in another. Yup. It's the way of it, isn't it? Wait a minute, that looks like something. Nope. You guys are camping out. We just got here. If we ain't dead, why have we ended up here? That Valkyrie was talking about some power or something like that, right? Yeah. Nasty looking place. We supposed to start our grand mission somewhere as creepy as here? Can't believe we ended up here. What'll happen to Zarga if half its army is gone? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. There are already several groups of soldiers exploring this cave. Okay. Well, I'm here too. We're getting ready to inspect this area. Yeah, you look like you're getting real busy on that. The statue thingy makes me strong again. Do you feel it too? This is your save point, essentially. I thought that it would heal you when you do that. And maybe it does on the easier settings, but on my settings, when I had lesser health and I crossed that, it didn't do anything. But we're playing it on the hard setting, because why not? You've got an emarachnid. The markings on this strange gem show that it was sent in. It was set in something for a long time. Yeah. That. I also suspect that you're going to find more things like this, but the door that they fit in is going to be obviously further and further away. It's just they're trying to teach you the game right now. Oh, all of a sudden this guy just you know, hey, follow me, chaps. We're going to go in there. It's like uh. Yeah, don't thank me for opening the door or anything. I always have this habit of, uh... Wow, crit. Nice. I have this habit of to reminding people to save often, so even though I just did it, I'm gonna do it again. It only takes a couple of seconds. I think there's a... Yeah. See, there's a, there's a, like a mega attack. Do you jump and use your heavy? And they'll do that. Oh! Oh, I didn't know you can take these out. <laughs> nice. All right, fine. 
Basically what I just did there, because I didn't want to dodge roll or run away, was I just did heavy and then a light attack, so I just went Y, X, and it lets me do the two. I love games that give me terrain destructibility, too. Eh, not gonna fool me twice. There's a warning here. Oh, because the spike's down there. See, I'm looking down, I can look up, and then it'll settle back down on its own. Where you going, Armadilla? Secrets. That's what he was showing me. Thank you. Two potions. Nice. Okay, looks like I got spiders. There are a finite amount of spiders. You can just sit there and kill them all. And I will take a lot of hits doing this because I just kind of suck at dodging. I need an upward attack. Okay, so when the when the holes close off like that, you're you know you're done. Yes, I just searched the body. Sorry, bro. Thanks for your stuff though. Here. And all. Need to be more mindful of my health. Yes, I will dodge, actually. Another secret. Cool. I like games that reward you with these little. Oh, you've explored this. You've got a bone. You've got. You got. Bone pendant. I guess a translation issue. The bones that make up this pendant are fake, being instead carved from wood, right? Amulets grant a variety of bonuses. You can equip and manage them in your inventory by pressing, well, essentially the start button for me, those three little lines. Okay, so. Um, equip is X. Except, so you get plus one attack. Nice. And these are, this is your inventory listing here, but... All I got is the potions and the accessories right now. Everything else I haven't unlocked because I haven't found anything else. And obviously I can do the left button, so this is my uh, equipment here. Basic sword, basic shield, now the pendant. Got my stats here. I suspect that those are elemental bonuses for attack and defense, which I have none. Because I'm still level 1, but look at that. I'm about to make a level up eventually. And then going through the rest of the menu, this is your quest list here. And the bestiary characters, stuff like that, to kind of unlock and find along the way. And then your settings. Now you've seen it all! The other thing I like about this particular game is you don't have to sit there and climb the ladder, you just hop. Which, I don't know how... You can pick on the realism of that, but I like it just because ain't got no time for that. Let's just get over it, you know? Let's get through it! I can't jump up there, I can jump up here. And I think there was nothing over here. Yeah. Level. Nice. You obtained your first mastery relic. You can use it to acquire your first mastery. Mastery is your skills, normally passive, that you can distribute as you wish. As you level up, you'll acquire more of these relics. Alright. So this is your mastery list, and obviously you can unlock in a certain direction. Of course, you can't see these, not yet. And this is the only one you can have right now, which unlocks this, which is spinning slice. And then this, uh, there, precision block. But this is the only one I can have right now, which is a counterattack. I tried doing this, but my syncopation sucks. So I suspect I won't be using this too often. Looks like the next one requires three relics each that are maybe level three to unlock. We'll see. We'll get there and burn that bridge when we cross it. All right. And we gain one health point too, which is nice. Man, those things hit hard. I think that's part of the setting I chose too, to be honest. Wait a minute, that looks like something I 
Isn't that like something I can hit? Guess not. Fan. Just hack and slash them quick and you don't have to worry about dodging them. Just don't give them time to attack. These guys look scared. Wait, afraid of a dead body? Come on. Ah! You scared us! Mackerel and Grouper. So these two are named after fish. It's like, uh, what is it? Hicks and... This is what, Final Fantasy VI? Wedge and Hicks or something like that? Which was an Aliens reference, if I'm not mistaken? You shouldn't scare us at a time like this. Uh, I just got here, dude. The rest of us? I guess there was a dialogue that they didn't really talk about. You were just, like, questioning them. The rest of us? You'll see. Everything was going fine until a group of nasty spiders came hurtling toward us out of nowhere, dragging the others into the darkness of the cave. I was gonna help, but realized that my shoelaces were untied. I don't know what this lazy bones was doing, though. I told you. I was watching over the provisions. You saw how hungry those bugs looked. What do you do, storing them in your gut? What the hell? Hungry for us, genius. Oh, really? And since when have our boots had laces? Never mind the details. The important thing is, is to come up with a rescue plan. Wait, do you think he... <laughs> Buddy! That's what that is. Yeah, you'll help us, right? Perfect! We're gonna uh, go check out the main room. You know, just in case. Great, so they pawned off their work on me. But I got a sweet map out of the deal. So Mackerel and Grouper have started to draw the map of Terragaya. It seems that from now on it's up to you to finish it. Oh, great. Uh, thank you. Please find them. It's my select button. Can't find your way? The map's the answer. So that's what the map looks like. And obviously this is where we've been so far. There's that one door there. That was the save. We made our way down here. Showed us the two chests. The three chests we've unlocked with the two secrets. And we are right there. I don't think there's anything extra they can say. Yeah, I hope you can bring them back safe and sound. If they don't come back in one piece, I don't know if I'll be able to sleep again. Well, let me check this dude out. Watch their facial expression. <laughs> like, what? Just looting bodies. Oh, they're, they're not going to need it where they're going. I'm so bad at dodging these spiders. Okay, two down. Oh. There we go. That's right, I can knock these out. Alright. Any secrets? No secrets. Okay. I had to check. Save often. See, we didn't get healed. We're still at 49 instead of 51. I wish the experience bar was right below your stamina bar. That way you don't have to sit there and babysit it. In case you're close and you just want to be like, eh, I should probably, you know. <laughs> so bad at this. <sighs> My health thing is down in those spikes. That kind of sucks. Alright, so I died earlier in this spot in my other playthrough. Because of that guy. Obviously, it wasn't that, that it actually wasn't that difficult. I was just clumsy, I guess you could say. All right, got a sign here. Doesn't say nothing. Is this gonna be one of those? It's gonna fall as soon as I get on it. Oh, I see how it works. Okay, gravity. Nice. Wow, that's a big one. What's this? You've got spider layer map one, a fragment of the spire, spider layer map. Uh, okay. I mean, I was mapping it myself anyway, so what's the point? Oh, cool. World map. I didn't look at that earlier. All right, it's fine, whatever.
yet. Oh, look at that. Spike trap. Let's not fall. Oh, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you have you can shoot at angles? Ow. That kind of hurt. I think I'm going to use my potion. Maybe. Oh, let's, see how many, let's see how many of these little orbs we can get first. Eh. As long as there's no boss coming up, I guess it'll be alright. So, that combination I just did, it was just uh, light, heavy, light. And that way, and it, you get feedback when you hit the enemy, too. So, like, see how there's a, watch, there's going to be a little delay here between my three attacks? If you're hitting something, that delay is canceled because you're recoiling off their body, which I think is fantastic. It gives the game an actual feeling. Like, you can feel that something's happening rather than you just swing at air. You, you want that recoil because you can work, you know, off of it, essentially. Let's go this way real quick. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, I am douche. Hang on a second. You stay up there first. I gotta heal. All right, now that I know you're up there, you're going back. Die. <laughs> All right, you better have some health. Lots of it. Good. All right, so yeah, we're a little bit into overtime. Oh, you know. But that's okay. Spiders. More damn spiders. Huh. Give me more health. That's not that much. Man. Alright, can I go this way? Nothing. Wait a minute, is that gonna fall on me? Alright, obviously I have to get it from somewhere else. Ah, nothing there. Alright, so this is very temporary, clearly. I have to unlock it on the fall. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Hmm. Maybe I have the cliffhang? Let's find out. I guess it's worth a shot, right? I'm gonna get that chest. There better be something good in it. Determined to have it now. Just need to catch the ledge somehow. <sighs> I'm about to pour you all to tears trying to get this stupid treasure chest. Ah! I can't time that. that how do I get it Arr. I think you fall through right along the edge of it too right yeah I don't know what to do with that that <laughs> all right what's this you've got a restoration ponage potion restores your stamina and mana bar uh, yeah okay Depending on your current health status, you may have to rely on different consumable items, in which you can, which will grant you a range of immediate or temporary effects. You can change your consumable by pressing the down left stick. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, then you just press up to quaff it. I feel kind of dumb about that 
need to do your special attack to knock that thing down. Ooh. Give me all your health. Another spider. Yeah, buddy. That's better. Suck less. Getting a little easier. I see that guy down there. Let's go check it out. This looks like something I'll be able to destroy later. Free health. Always good. What do we got here? about the map right quick. Do I want to go up or down? Let's go up first. Just seems like I'm supposed to go down further and further because, you know, Metroidvania. Oh, freebie's cool. Oh, wow, that hurt. this. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay. Clearly, this is something I have to be able to do later. Like, stronger weapon or something, I guess. Alright, what am I going to do with six whole health? That was pure luck. <laughs> I did not do that intentionally. I just ended up doing the special. Does this thing run out of... Okay, so they are one and done, thankfully. Health! No! <laughs> Man. Hey, there's a dude in there! Thank you! We expected to find spiders in this cave, but not this size. Mackerel and Grouper must be desperate if they were caught too. Uh, no. Look down real quick. You already got the stuff from this guy. Can't go through there yet, but that is a breakable thing you can see right there. Hmm. So I guess we're going down here. Oh, great. More spiders! Lovely! Oh, crap. <laughs> and we died. <laughs> now you know what it looks like. Alright, so we're going to retry from the last save. You can find Balaf's dispensers throughout your adventure. These will allow you to buy some consumable items within dungeons, although their price may be somewhat higher than normal. I wonder if we lose money from loading. Probably not. Oh, oh what? I did, I did not know he had that attack. <laughs> that kind of sucked. If you're me, that sucked. Give me all the health. Okay, I need to trick this guy down here. So we're down to 10. 11. <laughs> we're gonna need a lot more than that where we're going. Oops. Really? No health. Robbed. Can I just do this? No. Let me see what's on the other side. Okay, there's no way for me to get up there. So I'm definitely going to need a weapon upgrade of some sort. I'm going to use this now. Oh, Someday I'm going to remember that that's there.
breakable wall. Can't do anything with that just yet. And that's where we came, right? Yeah. I don't want to save again there just because I lost my potion last time. goodies. Like, we need so much health. It's not even funny. Any secret here? Nope. Yes, that's better. Look down. So that's what's waiting for us. We get the drop on him. A lot more than that, though. No secret, no secret. Look down. I'm gonna go this way. No secret. Ow. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, good. Just trickling health. Great. I don't know if I can swim, so I'm not going to risk that just yet. Damn spiders! No! Oh, yes, I leveled. <laughs> free, heal, free heal with level. Nice! <laughs> oh, crap. There's more spiders. No! Finish off all those bugs. Yeah, I'll work on that, bro. Alright, so the guy I watched play this, uh, I know what this is. There we go. It's like Sid in pig form. His name is Balaf. Thank you. Isn't it amazing how you can't even get a wink of sleep in this monster riddled cave? You close your eyes for a second. And end up strung up like a leg of ham. By the way, I'm Balaf, merchant and friend of the person who saves me, which leads us to you. I don't know how to thank you for taking me off the menu for those spiders. Wait, I know, just a second. There it is. Er. Was that landslide there a minute ago? Ah, never mind. I love the animation in this. I know it's not exactly a magic ring, but since you've come this far, I think you'll appreciate this. You've got bomb. Use this when you come across a wall you think you can destroy. It's also useful against enemies. Why don't you try using one to get us out of here? Word of advice, try not to be around when they explode. I wouldn't want to lose my new best friend so soon. Alright, so left trigger to throw a bomb. Hold left trigger to place a bomb on the ground. Sure. Uh, Alright. Free! I'm off. Oh, by the way, if you fancy exploring when you get out of here, to the east of these caves you'll find Hafen City. Come and see me. I'll introduce you to my family and give you something to help you on your incredible adventures. Because you've embarked on an incredible adventure, right? Anyway, I'm out of here. See, you, bro? They really thought this game through. Oh, I have a finite amount of, amount of bombs. I better be careful with that. I mean, I was just going to go nuts with them, but clearly you can't. Can I swim? Uh, no? I guess you can't. Yep, you can't swim. At least you don't get killed just trying like that, you know? 
I don't think I lost anything in the process either. So that's fan. Uh, sorry. There we go. It's obvious where we're going next. I don't know if I can use a bomb against the spider web. Should we try it? Yeah, what do we got to lose? We lose one bomb. That's, I think, worthwhile. And I'm gonna save too, because, you know, save often. <laughs> oh, apparently I can fast travel between save points. That's good to know. Oh, and these all respawned. Will I get health again? Yes. Which means that bat should be up there again. Yep. I probably should have ate that hit. I'm kind of glad I didn't. Nothing there. Spider back? No. Alright, I'm gonna try this where I sit down and do it this time. Nothing. Okay, so we definitely need something different for that. Fire! Probably. Back to full health. Watch my descent. So here, squat, run away, bang. I just realized that it's got the pig's face on that bomb. Bal Balor? Is his name? Something like that? You know what? I better not break those yet. I might need them later. Too slow? I'll take this. I'm sure someone would pay a pretty penny to light up their display with this green glow. Sinka. Oh, can I time that? Oh boy. I'm just gonna wait then. What's this? What are these? Oh, that's like a... It's almost like MP, so I get more bombs? Yep, that's what it is. Okay, so that's how you get more of them. Alright, now I'll hit these and see if I get more health. I'll take this. Oh, she picked whatever was sitting here. It was probably one of those stones to open the door. I can't climb up that. I think I had to do it like this. Yep. Oh! Don't double jump. It's a different. No, it's the same one. It was just the lighting effect. Never mind. Yes, I did that on purpose. I wanted the health. Okay. I don't need no surprises now. Secret? No secret. Stuff I can break there. Uh, doesn't look like they're connected, so we have to backtrack a little ways. Fine. Health? Yes. There we go. Secret? Nope. Doesn't that look like a don't press this button type situation? Yep. Oh, it hit the spider. Nice. Okay, so now I just got to catch this guy running across here. Nice. That was a good use of stuff in the area, right? What do we got? What should be good? A feather? I got a Valkyrie feather. It restores the strength of those who fall in battle. Ah, okay. So it's like a instant resurrect without having to reload your game. I like that. I don't have to, like, select it, do I? No. Awesome. Make sure there's nothing else here. 
Yeah, I can't swim, so... The game de definitely kites you where you need to be. With, like, achievement borders, I guess is a good way to put it. Alright. Now, we're, I already did that. Down. There's something down there. And I probably can't knock that thing out. So I do have to go down. Secret. Oh, I did not hit that button. What the heck? Oh man, now I gotta backtrack somehow. Alright, I don't think I fell too far. Just gotta make sure I didn't miss anything on the way down. Like... that. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get to that. Oh, crap. Oh, there's a bunch of them. didn't count. What? Okay. That's going to be another jump puzzle type thing to solve. Like that. Okay. You got a vigorous vial. All your attacks will be critical for a short period of time. If I use it, that is. So that's something I'd want to save against a boss of some sort. Yeah, so we're gonna leave it on this for now so I don't accidentally use it. Nothing up there. Nothing down there except a geyser. That's either gonna hurt me or it's gonna push me up. Oh, it spawns these things. What the hell? Ow! Jesus. Alright, you know what? You're gonna die. Oh god! <laughs> that was close. Take the hit to find out if it works? Yes. Okay, so it is just something to push you up. Secret? Nope. Grab. Okay. Uh, grab. What am I supposed to do with it? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to push it over the edge.
Yep, it'll stop the steam. Stop doing that to me. There we go. I'm not sure what this is for just yet, but we're gonna find out. I don't think I need that. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it makes the steam stronger if I block a hole. Because it looks like we have to go up that way. Well, let's find out. It's making me think. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. You can tell. Yep. Ah, uh, that's clever. That's really, really clever to make you have to do that. I like that. Uh, there's a spider. What the heck? Uh, what just happened? Oh, that's that's a pretty yeah. Yeah, let's use it. Screw it. You're gonna die. Lazarus? What's that? Okay. Oh, he had one hit left. Ah, it feels like such a waste. Fine, whatever. That's how we learn, right? We're learning. Now we're learning, boyo. Alright. Is that gonna be able to push me up to there? Yes. I need that rock. Yep. Ooh, I can have this now too. Nice. Got a free health potion. Okay. Gotta grab this. Got to block this. Yeah. Here we go. No, oh, that's no bueno. Alright, so let's go block the other one then. Good. Ah. That's <sighs> stupid, wasn't it? Quite dumb. run into anything that requires money yet. What's this? Alright. Another body. Yeesh. I should remember to use my shield more often, huh? Looks like I need to time this. Yep. Good. Sleep. So it was a hit and sleep? Okay. Oh! Sleep. Okay, so it has two effects. You take damage and you fall asleep. Gave me a little bit of health. That would have been nice. Uh, I get the impression I'm going to need that where we're headed. Oh, crap! Secret! You got Rockerite. Mysterious mineral used to reinforce armor. Yeah, I bet I'm going to need someone to forge it or something, right? Like I'm gonna need to make this. Uh, come on. Yep. All right. So now we have to make even bigger push. Grab the rock. Okay. Yep. 
Well, maybe. Um, not really sure, to be honest. Let's take a look at the map. Okay. right now to save. That'd be great. There's a note here. Greetings. If you're reading this, you've probably run out of ammo for your bombs and have been looking for under rocks for a while. That's all over. Uh, I have enabled a series of dispensers so that you can get my merchandise whenever and however you want. Not for free, of course. I have a family to feed. It doesn't come cheap, either. You don't know how risky it is going back for your tip. Yeah. Thanks, Baloff. But you know what? We're out of time for the day. So this was the first 30 of Soldiers, and if you like what you see, I'll leave you a link in the description below to get it. If you're new to my channel, welcome, but if you're a regular here, welcome back. Either way, maybe check out my other playlists and see if my other interests will be of interest to you. I'm going to record all the episodes one after another, so for now, this is all I've got for you today, but stay tuned for the next 30 of Soldiers. Later.